fuck the ocean sunfish. So someone in a group asked me to tell them why I hate the ocean sunfish so much. And apparently it was to me and was deleted. To perpetuate the truth and stand up for ethical journalism, I'm posting it here. Disclaimer. I care about marine life more than I care about anything else. For real. Except this big dumb idiot. And it's not like an ironic thing. I mean, it is hilarious to me they are the biggest joke played on earth, but I fucking hate them. The Mola Mola fish, or ocean sunfish. They are the world's largest bony fish, weighing up to 5,000 pounds. And since they have very little girth, that just makes them these absolute giant fucking dinner plates that God must have accidentally dropped while washing dishes one day and shrugged his shoulders at because no one could have imagined this would happen. And with no purpose, every pound of that is a wasted pound. And every foot of it, 10 foot by 14 foot, is wasted space. They are so completely useless that scientists even debate about how they move. They have little control over than some minor wiggling. Some say they could just push water out of their mouths for direction. They could use their back fin, except guess what? It just doesn't fucking grow. It just continually folds in on itself, so the freaking cells are being made. This piece of floating garbage just doesn't know where to put... Fuck! <laughs> just doesn't know to put them, where to put them. God, that's a hard sentence to read. It's early. Uh, this piece of floating garbage just doesn't put them where they need to fucking go. There we go, jeez. So they don't have swim bladders. You know the one thing that every fish has to make sure it doesn't just sink to the bottom of the ocean when they stop moving and they can stay the right side up? This creature that can barely move to begin with can never stop its continuous tour of idiocy across the ocean or it'll fucking sink. Except... Except when they get stuck on top of the water, which happens frequently. Because without the whole swim bladder thing, if the ocean pushes over the tiniest but largest, most toppable, toppable fish on the planet, shit out of luck. There's no creature on this earth that needs a swim bladder more than this bit in the face of nature. And yet, some scientists have speculated that when they do... <laughs> That when they do that, they are absorbing energy from the sun because no one fucking knows how they manage to get any real energy to begin with. So they need the sun, I guess. But good news, when they end up stuck like that, it gives birds a chance to land on their gosh darn island of a body and eat the bugs and parasites out of its skin because it's basically a slowly migrating cesspool. Pros and cons. If they are so huge, they must at least be decent predators. No. No! The most dangerous thing about them, as you may have guessed, is their stupidity. <laughs> they have caused the death of one person before. Because it jumped onto a boat. On a human. <laughs> and in 2015, it decided to relive its mighty glory days and do it again. This time landing on a four-year-old boy. Luckily, Byron sustained no injuries. Way to go, fish. Great job. They mostly only eat jellyfish, because of course they do. They could only eat something that has no brain and a possibility of drifting into their mouths, I guess. Everything they eat has almost zero nutritional value, and it's because it's so stupidly fucking big. It has to eat a ton of almost no nutritional value stuff to stay alive. Dumb. You see that ridiculous open mouth? This is actually why this is my favorite picture of one. And I have had it saved to my phone for three years. Oh no! What could have happened? How could this be? Don't let that expression fool you. They just don't have the gosh darn ability to close their mouths because their teeth are fused together. And you know what? It is good it floats around with such a clueless expression on his face, because it is, in fact, clueless as all fuck. They do sometimes get eaten, though, 
but hardly. No animal truly uses them as a food source, but instead, which has led us to said photo, will usually just maim the fuck out of them for kicks. Seals have been seen playing with their fins like frisbees. Probably the most useful thing to ever come from them. Wow, you raised some good points here. That fish truly is proof God has abandoned us. Yes, <laughs> thank you. But if they're so bad at literally everything, why haven't they gone extinct? Great question. Because this thing is so worthless, it literally doesn't realize it should not exist. It's so unaware of literally fucking everything that it doesn't realize that maybe it's doing this fucking worst job. Fucking job of being a fish. Or debatably the worst job of being a cluster of cells. Than any other cluster of cells. So what does it do? It lays the most eggs out of everything. Besides some bugs. There are some ants and stuff they'll lay more. But this thing will lay 300 million eggs at one time. 300 million! It survives because then it would be statistically improbable, dare I say impossible, that there wouldn't be at least one of those 300 million. Each time they lay eggs, mind you, left surviving at the end of the day. And this concludes why I hate the fuck out of this complete failure of evolution, the ocean sunfish. If I ever see one, I will throw rocks at it. Intellectual property of Scout Burns.